Hi, my name is James, and welcome to our Auto Transport Broker Training Series. In today's video, firstly, we will discuss about the training itself, and then we will cover the first section of this training, which is Introduction to the Car Transportation Industry. We wish you a welcome to this comprehensive auto transport broker training series. We're here to equip you with the knowledge and skills you need to excel in the car shipping industry. Whether you're just starting out or looking to enhance your expertise, this series is designed to guide you every step of the way. Over the course of this training, we'll cover the basics of the car shipping industry, providing you with a solid foundation to build upon. From understanding the process of transporting vehicles to navigating the intricacies of brokers' obligations, we'll leave no stone unturned. In each video, we'll delve into specific topics, exploring key concepts, and shedding light on the inner workings of this fascinating industry. We'll also share practical tips and strategies that can help you streamline your operations and stand out from the competition. Now here's the exciting part. While this introductory video is freely available on our YouTube channel, we have a treasure trove of training materials waiting for you. To access the complete series, make sure to check the link in the description below. That's where you'll find all the additional videos, resources, and quizzes for this training series. Our goal is to provide you with a comprehensive learning experience, empowering you to succeed as an auto transport broker. By exploring the entire series, you'll gain a deep understanding of the industry, stay updated with the latest trends, and become well-versed in the obligations that come with being a broker. Don't miss out on this incredible opportunity to expand your knowledge and take your career to new heights. Remember to click the link in the description to access the complete training material. Trust me, you won't want to miss any part of this series. And as always, we encourage you to like and subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you'll stay informed about the latest videos we release and be part of our growing community of auto transport professionals. So hit that subscribe button and join us on this exciting journey. Lastly, we want to thank you for your support. It means the world to us. If you find value in this training series, please share it with your friends and colleagues who are also interested in learning about car shipping. Together, we can create a network of individuals dedicated to honing their skills and driving the industry forward. So, without further delay, let's dive into the captivating world of auto transport brokering. Before we proceed to the next segment of this video, remember, all the training materials are just a click away. Check the link in the description and let's embark on this incredible learning adventure together. In this video, we will introduce you to the car shipping industry, and we will also cover the following topics. Overview of different types of car carriers, common industry terminology, how the industry works, and general role of the broker in the industry. Welcome to our car shipping agent training series. In this first video, we will cover the basics of the car shipping industry to help you get started on your journey as an agent or broker. Car shipping is the process of transporting vehicles from one location to another, typically across long distances. This can include cars, trucks, motorcycles, and other types of vehicles. Car shipping is an essential service for a variety of reasons, such as relocating for a job, buying or selling a car, or transporting vehicles for commercial purposes. The car shipping industry is a complex and constantly evolving industry that is made up of a variety of players, including agents, brokers, carriers, and customers. Agents and brokers play a critical role in connecting customers with carriers and ensuring that vehicles are transported safely and efficiently. To be successful as an agent or broker in this industry, it is essential to have a strong understanding of the different types of car carriers and the terminology used in the industry. In the next few minutes, we will cover these topics in more detail. And now that we have an understanding of what the car shipping industry is all about, let's dive into the different types of car carriers that are used to transport vehicles. Car carriers come in a variety of shapes and sizes, 
each with its own unique features and advantages. The most common types of car carriers are open and enclosed trailers. Open trailers are the most common type of car carrier and are typically used for transporting vehicles that are not particularly expensive or delicate. These trailers are open to the elements and can carry multiple vehicles at once, making them an affordable and efficient option for many customers. Open trailers come in different sizes from small trailers that can carry up to two or three cars to larger trailers that can carry up 10 to 12 cars. Open trailers are also categorized into single level and double level trailers. Single level trailers can carry up to five to six cars, while double level trailers can carry up 10 to 12 cars. Single level trailers are used when there are height or weight restrictions, such as tunnels or bridges, or when the vehicle is oversized. Double level trailers are used when the carrier wants to transport more vehicles at once to save time and money. Enclosed trailers, on the other hand, are typically used for high-end or delicate vehicles that require extra protection during transport. Enclosed trailers provide a fully enclosed environment for the vehicle, protecting it from the elements and potential damage. These trailers can be more expensive than open trailers, but they are often worth the investment for customers who want to ensure that their vehicle arrives in pristine condition. Enclosed trailers come in different sizes as well, from small trailers that can carry one car to larger trailers that can carry up to six or seven cars. Enclosed trailers are also categorized into hard-sided and soft-sided trailers. Hard-sided trailers have a metal shell that provides complete protection to the vehicle, while soft-sided trailers have a canvas or vinyl top that provides partial protection to the vehicle. Hard-sided trailers are used when the vehicle requires complete protection from the weather or road debris while soft-sided trailers are used when the vehicle requires partial protection and is not very sensitive to weather or road debris. Other types of car carriers include flatbed trailers, which are typically used for oversized vehicles or construction equipment, and lowboy trailers, which are used for transporting heavy machinery or oversized vehicles such as buses or trucks. Flatbed trailers have a flat platform with no sides or roof, making it easier to load and unload heavy machinery or oversized vehicles. Lowboy trailers have a lower platform height and a longer deck, making it easier to load and unload oversized vehicles. Each type of car carrier has its own unique features and advantages, and as an agent or broker, it is important to have a basic understanding of these different options to help match customers with the best carrier for their needs. Common industry terminology refers to the specific language and jargon used in the car shipping industry. Knowing and understanding these terms is essential for effective communication with customers, carriers, and other industry stakeholders. Here are some of the most important terms that you should know. Broker. A broker is an important figure in the car shipping industry. They act as intermediaries between customers and carriers. Brokers typically have access to a network of carriers and can negotiate better prices and faster transportation times than customers could on their own. They also handle the logistics of arranging transportation, such as finding a carrier, booking the shipment, and handling paperwork. Carriers. Carriers are companies that transport vehicles from one location to another. There are two main types of carriers in the car shipping industry, open carriers and enclosed carriers. Open carriers are the most common and can carry up to 10 vehicles at a time. Enclosed carriers are more expensive but offer better protection for high value or classic cars. Customers. Customers are the people or companies who need to transport their vehicles. They work with brokers to find a carrier and arrange transportation. It's important for brokers to understand the needs of their customers, such as their budget, preferred pickup and delivery dates, and any specific requirements for their vehicle. Door-to-door. Door-to-door -door. Door -door service is a premium service that offers convenience and peace of mind to customers. With door-to-door -door service, the carrier picks up the vehicle at its origin and delivers it directly to the destination. This is ideal for customers who want a hassle-free experience and don't want to worry about driving their car to a terminal or other pickup location. 
first available pickup date. The first available pickup date is the earliest date that a carrier is available to pick up the customer's vehicle. It's important for brokers to communicate this date clearly to customers and manage their expectations about the pickup and delivery process. Delivery date. The delivery date is the date that the carrier is scheduled to deliver the customer's vehicle to its destination. It's important for brokers to work with carriers to ensure that the delivery date is realistic and achievable, and to communicate any changes or delays to the customer. ETA. ETA stands for Estimated Time of Arrival. It's an important piece of information that brokers and carriers need to communicate to customers. The ETA is based on factors such as the pickup and delivery locations, the distance between them, and the carrier's transportation schedule. Deposit. A deposit is a sum of money that the customer pays to the broker to secure the transportation of their vehicle. The deposit is typically a percentage of the total cost of transportation and is used to guarantee the customer's commitment to the shipment. Carrier pay. Carrier pay refers to the amount of money carriers receive for transporting vehicles. It's important to understand carrier pay to accurately price services and negotiate rates. Payment terms and additional fees should be established upfront to avoid disputes. Understanding carrier pay is crucial for success in the car shipping industry. Bill of lading. A bill of lading is a legal document that serves as proof of shipment and outlines the terms of the agreement between the carrier and the shipper. It contains important information about the vehicle being transported, including the make, model, year, and VIN number, as well as the pickup and delivery locations, the agreed-upon price, and any special instructions or requirements. Lead. A lead is a potential customer who has expressed interest in shipping their vehicle. Brokers generate leads through advertising, referrals, and other marketing efforts. Quote. A quote is a price estimate that the broker provides to the customer for the transportation of their vehicle. The quote is based on factors such as the pickup and delivery locations, the type of carrier, and the size and weight of the vehicle. Order. An order is a request from a customer to transport their vehicle. The broker then works to find a carrier to transport the vehicle. It's important for brokers to communicate clearly with customers about the order process and manage their expectations about the timeline and cost of transportation. Understanding these terms is crucial for effective communication with everyone in this industry. It's essential to be able to speak the same language and use the same terminology to ensure that everyone is on the same page. Understanding how the car shipping industry works. Is essential for anyone looking to become a successful agent or broker in this field. The car shipping industry operates on a nationwide scale, with thousands of vehicles being transported every day. In order to understand how the industry works, it's important to look at the key players involved in the process, from the shippers to the carriers and brokers. At the core of the industry are the shippers. Which are typically individuals or businesses looking to transport their vehicles. Shippers are responsible for providing the necessary information about their vehicle, including the make, model, and year, as well as the pickup and delivery locations. Once a shipper has provided this information, they can then receive a quote from a carrier or broker for the cost of the transportation. Carriers are the companies that physically transport vehicles from one location to another. They own and operate the trucks and trailers used for transport, and they are responsible for the safety and security of the vehicles while in transit. Carriers can be either open or enclosed, and they typically have a set route or territory that they cover. Brokers serve as intermediaries between the shippers and the carriers. Brokers work to find the best carrier for the shippers' specific needs, taking into account factors like cost, timing, and route. 
Brokers also handled the logistics of the transportation process, including coordinating with the carrier and shipper, arranging for pickup and delivery, and handling any necessary paperwork. As the last topic in this first video, we will talk about the general role of the broker in the car shipping industry. As an agent or broker in the car shipping industry, your role is vital in facilitating the transportation of vehicles. You act as a liaison between the carrier and the customer, overseeing the shipping process and ensuring smooth communication and coordination throughout. One of the most important aspects of your role is building relationships with carriers. You need to have a good understanding of their capabilities and limitations, as well as their pricing structures. You should also be able to negotiate rates with carriers to ensure that your customers receive competitive pricing while still allowing you to make a profit. Carrier pay is a critical component of this, and you should be aware of the different payment structures that carriers use and how to navigate them. Another important aspect of your role is providing excellent customer service. Providing prompt and accurate updates to customers about their shipments, addressing their questions or concerns, and being responsive to their needs are crucial in building a reputation as a trustworthy and reliable professional. This reputation will not only lead to repeat business, but also generate positive referrals, contributing to the growth of your business in the long run. In order to succeed in this industry, you need to be organized and detail-oriented, keeping accurate records of all shipments, including pickup and delivery dates, estimated time of arrival, ETA, deposits or payments, and other pertinent information, is essential for effective coordination and communication with carriers and customers. This allows you to efficiently manage multiple shipments and maintain transparency with all parties involved. In addition, staying up to date with domestic regulations and laws governing vehicle transportation is crucial in ensuring compliance and avoiding any legal issues. Being knowledgeable about the industry's terminology and staying informed about market trends, carrier capabilities, and customer demands will also give you a competitive edge in the industry. In conclusion, the role of the broker in the car shipping industry is critical in ensuring the smooth and efficient transportation of vehicles. Your responsibilities include building relationships with carriers, providing exceptional customer service, staying organized, and staying knowledgeable about industry regulations and terminology. With the right skills, expertise, and dedication, you can thrive as a successful broker in the car shipping industry. And that wraps up our first video on car shipping broker training. We hope you found the information valuable and informative as you begin your journey in the car shipping industry. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for our next video.